Hey, what's up guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets. And behind me is my 21 Tesla Model 3 Performance. And for those of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I have four kids that I use this car with, six kids all together actually. Uh, but generally it's me in the front, my eldest daughter, and then three other ones in the back. And one area that continuously gets a lot of scuffs are my door sills. So today I'm gonna go ahead and replace them with something from a company called Less Fit. And we're gonna go ahead and unbox and install these. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So first, let me go ahead and unbox this and then I'm gonna show you uh, what my door sills currently look like when I clean them versus one side that I actually did not clean. So you get to see how dirty it actually gets. So let me go ahead and unbox this first and we'll take a look and see what's all inside. And then uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at my car next. And for those of you that are following me, you know all my videos are timestamped. For those of you that are not, you can go subscribe so you can continue to get updates on new videos that I post around Tesla, as well as tech, photography, and things like that. So, all right, so here's the box. Uh, two door sills. This is gonna be for the front, driver and passenger. And we've got two for the back. And, oops, all right. And then the instruction manual. Uh, so these are, of course, a pack of four. Clean the door seal with a towel. I already cleaned it because I just got a car wash and I cleaned it, except the dirty one that I told you about. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, clean that beforehand. Uh, basically, you just tear off the double-sided tape and put them on. So it should be pretty straightforward. And uh, so, yeah, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys the actual uh, car, how it looks currently. All right, so here is my front driver's side. And right now, if you look closely, even though this is clean, this has a few scuffs on it for me coming in and out. Don't mind the floor mats, those have not been washed. Our weather has not all been that great, so they're overdue for a wash. This is real life, how dirty it gets. Um, but that's uh, the one that I've cleaned in the back. Uh, same thing here. Overall, it looks pretty decent, but again, with the kids coming in and out, it does scuff some of this area here. So I wanna be able to fix that. And then the one that I did not clean, let me go ahead and show you that one. That would be this. And so again, I, I did not clean this. This is how dirty it gets with, you know, my kids stepping in and out of the car and things like that. And the inside, as you guys can see, it's pretty dirty. So this will all be cleaned soon, but I wanted to show you for the video how dirty this actually gets. Um, some of it is just like marks. Uh, some of it is scuffs similar to what you guys saw on the other side, but that's probably the worst that it gets is about that much. And then this is my passenger side. Same thing here, that's just something. This looks pretty good, decent, but you can see some scuffs there. Even though I've already cleaned this, that scuff currently exists. So let's go ahead and uh, install these and see if you can get rid of that. All right, so here I am on the driver's side and this is the piece that I'm gonna be installing. And uh, from a color standpoint, this looks like the same exact color. Uh, again, in the bottom, it's got uh, double-sided tape that I'm gonna go ahead and peel off. And um, this one's got the curve right here. So this is gonna go on the driver's side. Now, the one thing to note on here is that as I'm installing this from the factory, it comes as one piece here. So when I do put this on, it does create that extra piece right here, like a separate piece, so you will be able to see that. Um, but I think uh, it, should look, it should look okay. So um, let me just go ahead and just get a sense of how this is gonna be lined up. And they, they recommend you line it up to the floor first. And then, uh, so I wonder how far back Here's a curve, let me show you. There's the curve right here. So it's gonna sit like that. Um, yeah, 
it's got a lot of room, so I can certainly go further back. I think right here should be good. I like that. And I am gonna cover up the one that's back here. So this is from the factory. If I line it with this, it comes too far forward and uh, like I can't, it's not gonna stick that well. So I think I'm gonna push this back. And so this one's gonna cover the break here, but it should work just fine. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the tape off. Let's see. Okay. Let's peel the tape off and stick it on. You do not need to remove the current one that's on there. This is super thin and uh, should go right over that without affecting the way the door closes and uh, things like that. So we'll take a look here in a second. All right, so the instructions are Line it with the floor first. That's where the tape is. So you want to line it with the tape, I mean the floor, just like that. And then you're going to take, you can probably do it with your finger, you can get a screwdriver or something to uh, get the scrubber. If you have a pry tool, I would say use a pry tool. I do have one, I don't know where it is, but uh, it's one of those things when you need it, you can't find it. So I'm gonna use my fingers to put this in. And you guys will see on camera here, I'm just lifting the rubber piece up and Pushing this underneath it. Just like that. Make sure the tape is sticking, which it is. And uh, yeah, this looks good. One down. Let me go ahead and get the rest of them in. Uh, I'll show you guys one for the back and then I'll probably just uh, fast, uh, what do you call it, time lapse the, the other side as I install it. But I do wanna show you how I install the back because that is a bigger piece. All right, so we are now in the back, um, driver's side. And this is the current stock one. You guys can see there's a brake right here. The nice thing about this, as you replace the back, is this actually comes as one piece. It'll cover up that, and it'll basically move it up here, as far as uh, the breaking point, I guess. Um, it does cover the rest of this really well, and I'll give you another view uh, when I pull my uh, camera out. But let's go ahead and get this here. This will be no different. I'm just gonna go ahead and pry the, the rubber part up like this, and essentially stick underneath there all the way through. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, but let me go ahead and get the, it's gonna look like that basically. Let me go ahead and get the double-sided tape off the bottom of this and we'll go ahead and line this just like that. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, line this.
can see I'm just uh, pulling the rubber out and uh, getting this underneath it. down so the tape stays in place and this actually looks really really nice it does not look like it's an aftermarket part and uh, it fits perfectly let me give you a, a better view of this take a look at that all one piece looks and goes perfectly with the interior fits perfectly there see this looks absolutely beautiful there's no nothing sticking out and uh, it actually looks cleaner because again that line is gone from here and with this being on top this is sitting higher now and so let me show you another side that line's gone but take a look at that what that looks like and then let me show you the other side see the difference this is stock, obviously that's not, but I like the fact that this gets out of the way here and goes a little bit higher. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set, finish setting up the other two. I'm not gonna show it to you on camera since this, I literally just did this one and the front one and I'll check back with you in a bit. All right, so as I said, I was actually using my fingers to pry this in and sometimes you learn the lesson the hard way and uh, so it's extremely important <laughs> you use the right tools. So I actually just kind of damaged or injured my finger there, kind of nasty. But I did find my pry tool, so I'm actually gonna use this to install the other two sides um, so I don't really damage my fingers anymore. All right guys, so I just got done installing the other two, the passenger and the rear passenger. And you can see here, this looks beautiful. There's no corner sticking out. It sticks perfectly well, sits underneath the rubber here and uh, looks absolutely beautiful, minus my injured finger. But uh, yeah, this looks great in the back here. Let me go and show you the front here. And uh, here's the front. It sits well, coming up all the way. And now they look brand new. And to show you, the doors do still close, absolutely no issues closing the doors it does not get in the way because it's past that point even though it's coming over the rubber there so no issues all right guys that's it for this video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did make sure you give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time goodbye